up guys, it's Woody and we are back with another MC Mechanics. And today on MC Mechanics, I'm gonna show you guys how to install a server icon. I know this is a pretty old deal, but I had some trouble with it today and I, I caught something that might happen to you guys and might affect you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install a server icon from beginning to end and uh, we'll, let's get into it, okay? Um, this is the server icon if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, we're gonna actually redo this one today and um, it took me a minute to get this one and I'll sh tell you why at the end. And if, we heal, if you have this problem, you'll be able to solve it after this, okay? So hold on, let's get back into our photo editing software, whatever you might have. I have GIMP. You could use Photoshop, paint, anything that will edit photos or anything like that. And you can adjust size. Something like paint or something will do. I think most of you guys got paint probably. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open a new file and you're gonna make it 64 by 64. It has to be this to work on Minecraft, okay guys? Just know, this is the problem I was having, I'll tell you why. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna design a little logo real quick and I will be right back. All right guys, I am finished with my little logo for now and um, it's time to save this, guys. So after you guys got your stuff made, um, you're gonna wanna go to File, Save As on yours probably, or if you're on GIMP, it's gonna be Export. I think Photoshop's the same thing too, I think you have to export it. Um, but if you're on Paint, I think you have to just save. But uh, mine is Export, it's the same thing as saving except if I save, it saves it as like a template. So I export it and I name it server. This is very important guys, server-icon.png. This is how Minecraft knows that this is the picture it's gonna use, okay? That and where you place it, which we'll get to in a second. Um, so server-icon.png, just like that, okay? Um, and I'm gonna save it to my desktop for now and we'll move it in a second. I'm gonna go export and click export. Now, the thing that got me, this is where we get to it, the thing that got me was when I saved off GIMP last time, it resized my picture by like, instead of 64 by 64, it came out 73 by 75. So you saw how we started this at 64 by 64, right? If we right click this and go to properties, we can check our size. And it's still 64 by 64, that's good, that's what we want it to be. But sometimes your photo editor may put this at like 66 by 66 or something like, just some random number like that because it reads it a little bit bigger or how you compressed it. Um, so definitely check that if you can't get it to work because it took me about an hour to figure out what I was doing wrong, okay guys? So that was the problem that made me make the video. All right, so I click okay, it's, it's good to go now. This will be our logo. Um, now wherever you got your server is where you wanna put this. Okay, I'm gonna say server directory and by that, I'm referring to the main part of your server page, okay? So if you're, if you got a self-server with your friends or something off your computer, it's gonna look something like this. Now I got a couple more servers in here, but the basic is to know where it's at, you wanna be able to see the server and the icon in the same page, okay? That'll be your main page. Um, so this is the front page, all my worlds are in here, all the other things are in here, okay? Server's in here. Um, that's where you want it to be. Now if you're on a server host, site and you don't know how to do this i've got my server right here this is going to be the ftb file directory the main page when you go to ftb files now if you don't know anything about this you probably aren't running the host server okay um but if you do you're going to know what the ftb files are because you're going to need to do this to begin your server period um so this is the main page um and you're going to throw it into here with filezilla or something like that uh, which i'm not going to do anything about right now so you have to download that on your own just go to i think just type it in being filezilla um, but put it in the main directory of either one of those, okay guys? Um, so we're just gonna drag and drop. Um, it'll make me wanna overwrite my other one. Replace, yes, we will do that. And I'm going to launch my server. And I do the same thing if I were doing my main server for Legacy Craft, like off um, the host. I just refresh it and restart it and stuff. So that should be up. Let's go to Minecraft, check it out. Just click refresh. Bam, there it is. Now we got Woody's Legacy Craft Adventure server. Um, this is what we play all the adventure maps on so I don't have to upload it to the server and stop Legacy Craft and stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty neat, right guys? All right, so if you have any troubles, leave a comment below and I will help you with those. I will help you. It will get finished, okay? I will fix it for you. <laughs> but uh, let me know how it worked. Let me know if it works. Say, yeah, Woody, it worked, thanks, or something like that. Or you don't even have to say thank you, just, you know? Um, but I will catch you guys in the next MC Mechanics. Woody out. Peace.